Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's fantastic. I appreciate everybody being here. Everybody who's been coming through these past month or so with Pokemon. Thank you, everybody. Music stopped out of nowhere.
Hey, PBG, how you doing? Can't hear you as I'm going to say something, but I hope you're all I'm doing fantastic. And Chocolate Chip. Thank you for the shout-out on Chocolate Chip. I'm doing good. My day was good, Chocolate Chip. Pretty slow Friday. Aside from the snow, my day is... Friday was slow. Snow is the worst part, but other than that. It was all right. I just took off chimes all day at work. Literal chimes. All day. I didn't even load anything. I had people who drilled, who who made the, who tapped the holes in them so they can, so they could be used for screws or whatever. Yes. Wind chimes. I don't know what... These are more, I guess, industrial. Because I work at a sheet metal warehouse. So it's not like a typical wind chime that you probably would have in front of your house. But yes, a chime. I don't know what they're used for. But we tapped. They... We... I... We hung... They hung, like, so many of them. I took all... I took them off all day with my partner. And then two other people basically tapped the holes or you know added the they made it so the holes have, have the screw uh, ridge whatever you want to call it so now it, the thing can have screws someone's calling it and that's all I did I just took off all day I didn't even load I did the paperwork though I didn't even load anything Thank you, Venus. PBG will probably either beat me or not. But I don't know if you... Either way. Thank you, Venus. I hope you enjoy your, your day, Venus. Have a kick-ass ready.
How are your teeth feeling today? Better. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, pretty, uh, pretty good. Good. Uh, can uh, beat tails for rice in the morning? Mm hmm Nice. The one thing I... The one thing I'm enjoying about the Tales of Rise, once I beat the game, and it pretty much gave me the uh, the uh, option to like do game plus, mm -hmm. it still let me go back to my original save, even though it knows I beat the game. It took me right back to right where before I took on the boss. Uh. And, and then unlock like new little side quests for me to do, and then new collectibles to find. Nice. So I'm trying to do that for right now. The thing I find bullshit though is. One thing I'm not a big fan of called Tales of Rise, when you do like certain tasks or like a fight, mm -hmm. and it doesn't tell you the level of the enemy. Because in this one, not to go too much of the story, but there's this uh, area near your area game where you can go to you. And this guy has this thing where like you pretty much kind of like a, uh, you, you go into your mind and you fight enemies from the past. Yeah. So you pretty much fight the very first major boss in the story. Because uh, you gotta defeat like these lords in, in the story and shit. And fucking, yeah, I'm like, alright, I could do this, no problem. But motherfucker was level 95. My party is only like in level 62. Damn. I hate, I hate how it does that shit. Like, there's 200 bosses I have yet to uh, defeat from side quests because they're way high level. Like, so I think like the dragon I can't damage. And like, there's like, oh, herb totem thing that's like above, like almost like level 80. Yeah. I mean, the. Yeast ate the game I was playing. It didn't. It had monsters that I couldn't hurt until I had the best orcalcum weapons, but I don't think that's the same thing. But the last major thing I did in that game was fought a giant kraken. <laughs> so I have to finish. I have to finish uh, Yeast eight, but that game is also enjoyable. Ugh. But, you know, the, la the last Tales of game that I really played, though, was Zilla 2. Again, I only played those two games, but still. Like, I didn't even beat the second one, but it was fun. I think. <laughs> I could be wrong. My mind could change. They're fun games. Just something I hate about this one. He doesn't give you a warning about, like, the enemy. Yeah. I enjoyed Zilla. It was fun. I gotta play more of them. I have several of them. Thank God. <laughs> so I can experiment with the old PS3 ones and stuff. For some reason, yesterday the weather wasn't that bad, but today the weather is kind of... It wasn't, it wasn't as cold as it was during the Arctic blast that we had. Mm -hmm. But fucking, uh, I was going to say, it. Uh, yesterday it was around 20. And today it was around like 13 or 12. I'm like, right, no biggie. I just, uh, there's like, not to take too much from like the budget even the mom had. Like, I used the 20 or, uh, was the other day to give myself some more taco meat and like steak meat. And I just barely cooked the taco meat. But to make myself more full since I'm a fat ass, I cooked it with eggs. So it could be like more, more, so I could enjoy more. And, uh, that, since, you know, Mexican food, I had all do the old school way doing tortillas on the stovetop. Uh, but, uh, fucking, uh, I scrunched up, like, five bucks to get myself to your RC, so I don't have to go out that much throughout the rest of the weekend. Then just walking towards the cigarette store, freaking my hands were hurting just for the freaking, like, the windshield. Yeah, the windshield. Nah, that's horrible. On the opposite, though, for the most part, I have my dog down here, and he's been for well behaved. That's good. He's just a sleeping boy. And he pretty much took over one of the blankets I got as a gift. I want to say it's kind of like a baby blanket I was going to somewhat use to keep around my head and shit. Mm -hmm. But he, caught, he, he took it off my couch and he's pretty much like, yeah, if you want, it's yours. And he's pretty much sleeps either on it or curls up in it. Aww.
So I'm, I am freaking happy that I beat the story of Tales of Rise. It's not just to do everything else. I'm gonna, <coughs> I'm gonna try to see if I can, like... I don't know if I'm gonna try to platinum this game, but I wanna try to get most of the trophies. Yeah. I'll platinum Pokemon. Because freaking, I thought I had like, for example, I thought I caught all the fish. Yeah. Oh, apparently not. There's like a. I didn't get the trophy. You get all fish. I caught forty so far. So I don't know if there's like a hidden area somewhere. I have yet to find. It has to be like a hidden like fishing uh, spot. Yeah. But for the most part, of the story in this one actually was not that bad. Cause, like I want to talk about it, but I know I'm probably have to wait until you, like you either play it yourself or try to stream it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> One thing I find kind of funny though is that's pretty much as I hold up. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much even. The, your your main party is three males, three females, right? Mm -hmm. And they're pretty much uh, kind of like romancing with each other. Like the main character and the main girl, of course, hook up. Then you get like a little mage girl who hooks up with the, the youngest male character, and you get uh, an enemy an enemy character joins your party, and he's kind of like a fancy noble. And he has a, uh, what is it? Oh, what do you say in English? Um, he has kind of like a knight that pretty much does everything for him. Yeah. And she joins short party too, and they pretty much, off the, off the bat, they're gonna, they're gonna be for each other. And pretty much when it comes to that, the youngest pair in the group, the, the little wizard girl and the other guy, I find it cute at random, there's a female NPC, she was like, oh, she's cute! Then boom, I don't know where the young girl would, would turn in like, hey, 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 focus! Eyes away! Like, <laughs> I'm like, that guy's already whipped. <laughs> so I'm also trying to do the thing where like, I'm trying to see 300 skits for a trophy. But I have no idea if I miss any throughout the playthrough. Yeah. Cause I really uh, want to start playing the uh, the, the DLC, but I don't want to do that yet until I fully beat everything in the main game. Yeah, I can understand that. Cause I, cause I, yeah, well, I can say this, considering it's not really like a, a spoiler, but fucking they're doing the same shit that Final Fantasy IV did, where like, you know, you play as the main game, then later on it was the after years, you play as the kids. Oh, well. Is that in the same game? Because after years for Final Fantasy is a separate title, though. Yeah, oh no, no, it's in, it's in the, this one takes, this one's in the, I'm assuming it's gonna be in, yeah, same game, because it's in, it's in the menu. Hmm. So I'm assuming it uses the same locations from the first game. Okay, so it does have a sequel, it's just in one disc. Or yep. one, whatever, download content file. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, because, like, uh, the, the last time you got me the gift card, and I used the most little bit extra to get it, mm -hmm. I think it was like, it was like, I think it was like 40 bucks for as a pre-order. And then once it became available, it was just pretty much like a little download that's added into the menu. Kind of like the same the same shit as uh, Resident Evil 4 with the Ada Wong DLC. Ah, uh, okay. That's the best way to put it, because, you know, it's going to use the like, exact same pretty much stuff from the, uh, the base game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Tales of Zilla 2 wasn't a DLC a full-on fledged sequel, and that looked that was straight up Tales of Zilla still. Yeah. With new character. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with. It. Of course, they're gonna use that assets. I mean, but yeah. Either way, that's cool though. At least they have something more to play after the full game is done. You have a little uh, after years, I guess. Yep. People didn't like Final Fantasy IV after years, from what I hear. I can't really say much because I, I don't remember much about the, uh... Eh, eh. Whenever I play games, I tend to watch shit about it. That's whatever. 
I've never played it. I was playing. I don't know. Um, yeah, I was only doing main line, like full on main numbered line. No, no, I feel you, because like I like watching that kind of stuff too on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, I love I like, learning I... history of games I love. I even watched off of games I, I I know I'm not gonna touch or play myself. Yeah. Because like the other day when I was in the shooter, I was watching a video about I think like 50 most like controversial or banned games throughout history. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's always intriguing learning like some of the dramas and shit of all these certain games. And like I also like enjoy watching like the history it comes like the Resident Evil series. And yeah, shit like I see that. games you love. Yeah, I love that. Pokemon, Dragon Ball. Well, if I'm in the anime mood, I guess. But Pokemon and other games like Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts and such. That's where I also pick up a lot of my, like, background knowledge that I can't figure out myself. I'll be like, oh, okay. Because I know in a bit, I'm going to go on YouTube because I found a video where I got to... Because, like, once you, like, get towards Endgame, it, it, I, found this, I find this cute. You know how, like, in Tales, you get those uh, customizable items for your character, for, like, outfits or yeah. accessories? Yeah. And I think I think this is a staple in other games. You got to find those cute little creatures once you find them. It gives you the one of the uh, customizable items for your outfits and shit. Uh, okay. Same shit in this one, but in, in this one, they're owls. And I want to say, I found all the uh, main owls in the main areas. But like, the moment, like, you peek, like, are close to being the, uh, the final story, you unlock the final group of owls you gotta find. And they're spread out to the areas we've been before, so I gotta go on YouTube and find the videos for, like, where I gotta go to. Because I already found one. Mm, nice. Welcome back, Chocolate Chip. How you do? Oh, I just gotta find where I have, where I have to go for, uh... I guess I gotta go here. I hope you're doing fantastic today, Chocolate Chip. And everyone, I love all of you. Mm. The only thing that sucks though about the end game when it comes to Tales of Arise, is it's, it's, it's pretty much known that the uh, the main character. It's pretty much gonna be like cooking up with the other uh, female and shit. Yeah. Uh, bloody! What I was gonna say, uh, the I thought they were gonna like show off when they uh, get married and shit like that. But no, like, during the cutscenes, it just shows a quick picture of of, of the characters and like a wedding outfit, and that was it. Uh, damn. Thank you. I'm gonna stream something, maybe. Nice. Kick some ass. Okay, okay this is convenient off the bat. I'm where I gotta be. But just be, just be safe. Gotta save. So right now I'm gonna try doing one of the other side quests and hopefully I gotta fight a monster. And hopefully it's not too over leveled. Cause it's not a really good place for me to like level grind my care my party. Yeah. Cause like in the end game area the enemies are 50 and I'm past 50. So that means I only get like 300, 200 XP from those battles. Hmm. And that's that's not enough cause like once you're like in your 60s in this game. It's pretty much like 30,000 to go up to like the next level. Cause all my characters are like 61 or 62. 
Damn. We're all over you, buddy. Okay, level 54, I could do this. Is was today, uh, was work today hectic? <laughs> no. No. And how's the whole, uh, the war situation? I don't know. S still bad, I guess. Hmm. <sighs> You know, the one thing I find kind of funny and kind of cutesy about this, and one of the side quests, is I'm trying to get all the weapons and like and shit for the characters. There's a one you could attend for some NPCs. Yeah. And the main character, the girl, like freaks out, and the your main guy tries to calm her down, and he's only he's a weapon freak, so he makes her a weapon. It was kind of cute, cause they're they're uh, they're wedding theme. Ah. Uh. So like, since he's swords. He uh, he made himself kind of like a oversized wedding cake cutter, and since the girl she's a gun user, he gave her kind of like a flower, uh, a gun with the uh, wedding bouquet on it. Yeah. What's Irving? Uh, Tales of Arise. One of the many Tales of games. The one I thing know. I wonder, did, did they ever bring the very first one to uh, here in America, Tales of, I think it's called Tales of Hysteria or, or Fantasia? I wouldn't. Because I, I know I have a load of them. I've only played Zilla 1 and 2, but I have Zilla 1, 2, Berseria, Zesteria, uh, Vesperia. I have... Tales of Grace of On the PS3. And I think I have some of the PS2 Tales of games. And... They know they they know they release a good ass amount on the PS3. Yeah, Tales of Asperia, sure. The like, one thing that kind of like surprised me, and I was kind of like you know happy that he did it, because like back in the day when all I had was just a 360, and I was able to play a lot of Tales of Things of Asperia. Mm -hmm. That one that was been my favorite one because that's the one I was able to play constantly. Because like yeah, back then I didn't have anything like. It's only related. I was surprised to use one Tales game on the uh, on the uh, Xbox. Yeah. On the on the 360 because usually Tales is either going to be Nintendo or Sony. Because I know there's like one that's on the 3DS. It's exclusively on the 3DS. There could be a game called Tales of Asperia. I don't know all the titles. There's many of them. Because you, you, there's Tales games on the uh, original Nintendo on the PS1, PS2, GameCube. Xbox 360, 3DS, uh, Nintendo Switch, uh, PS3, one, uh, there is a 360, there's one on 360, yes. uh, PS4, PS5, and I think Xbox. I was going to mention Tales of Xperia, like, you know, I don't know where they, re they re released it with updated visuals and thing an addict uh, character. As, as a definite edition for a PS4, and a, and a friend of mine got it for me for my birthday when it, when it dropped.
don't have many of them. Boy, girl, my cousin. Oh, come on, Jay Bull, get off my fucking shoe. Oh, can I stop eating a fucking idiot? Retarded moron. Trip over every fucking thing that exists in my life. I don't even have that many, but. Zilla 2. The prequel of Zilla. We got Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. Yeah, I remember that one. Tales of Grace and stuff. And I have more that are digital. And then Tales of Bestiria. Zestiria. Yeah, see, that, that's the one I'm missing for on the on the PS on the PlayStation. I have only played Zilla's 1 and 2, but I plan to play these again. Yeah. And then I have Berseria, Vesperia, and all the whatever, digitally. And then I think that's it. And then I also have the Yeast franchise, spelt Y-S. Ranging from PSP, PC, PS4, 5, whatever. Nah. Then on the PSP, we had the, uh, they released the first one where he's trying on the island with the elf people. Yeah. The chick with the blue hair, he, got a, he had those, like, those, uh, I think, was it, three elemental swords? Yeah. The PSP one of that one was fun. I think you have that one on Steam, I'm not quite sure. Yes. I do. Along with, like, uh, East Origins, East Ultimate and Felgana is what I think it's called. Uh, something else, and I have a few. I also like to buy a lot of duplicate games, too, if they're cheap on PC. Just in case, I mean, uh. you never know. Someone may want it to play it. You have access to my library. Let it poo. Let me poo. Alright, I learned before I accept this quest, I'll do another fight. Save. System. Save. And heal my ass. Where's my partner? Yeah, I gotta heal. Ah, oh, where's the bed? There you are. Because Sally, when it comes to, uh, what is it, Tales games on, uh, on PlayStation Network right now, in general, or at least current gen, it's kind of lacking. Mm. Just let me type in Tales. I heard much before, like, the one you showed up. Yeah. Was the one you showed, was that a Switch version or a uh, PS3 I... version? For uh, Tales of Sephoria. I, I don't, that I don't know. That's the only one I am missing to complete the collection on uh, on PlayStation. Mm. So, you know, I already have digitally Tales of Arise, Tales of Historia, Tales of Sistoria, and Tales of Historia. I have it physically. And the latest one, Tales of Sephoria, is the only one I'm missing.
Um, and there's so many good RPGs, or at least Japanese RPGs. Because American ones are not as good. But the time also keep forgetting that Dark Souls is RPG and it's also Japanese. Yes, yes it is. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Please don't be overpowered. Okay, level 52, I got this. And Dark Souls is funny enough, one of the few games that doesn't look that good, but I love. Like, Elden Ring looks gorgeous, but Dark Souls, like, 1 and 2, honestly look like ass. Oh, yeah, they didn't age that well, but it's still fun to play. Oh, yeah. Dark Souls 3 starts to look good, but even Dark Souls to me in general just kind of looks like ass. But, like, Bloodborne is where it starts to look good to me. Well, I'm, I'm not surprised that Dark Souls 3 looks the way it does. Because, like, wasn't, like, Dark Souls 3... It's meant to be the deadest, though, yeah, of that universe, that, that thing. It makes sense. But... But not only that, but wasn't like Dark Souls 3 kind of like a release title for the PS4 when it came out? Yeah. It's like, because I want to say Bloodborne came after us, right? Uh, wait, or did yeah. it come out first? Uh, Bloodborne Blood was a PS4 ex Bloodborne was first. That that was an exclusive, specifically. Well, that's kind of surprising, because like freaking Bloodborne at times looks better than Dark Souls 3. Oh, by a mile, yeah. And that's kind of surprising, then, because I thought that Dark Souls 3 was first, mm. then Bloodborne. Nope. nope. Dark uh, Bloodborne was first. Yep. Because Dark Souls 3 was being made similar time frame. And then it was Sekiro. That one, I actually got to go back into and Sekiro play it and try is, to beat it. It's amazing. I love it. It's, it looks amazing because its world is colorful. I love it. But Elden Ring, Elden Ring is like, it's a dead world that looks gorgeous. Sekiro is a living world. And that's why it looks gorgeous. Plus it's like actual Japan. Yeah. Like one of my favorite looking areas is my least favorite area. <laughs> But it looks so beautiful. Do you find it surprising that fucking we have not really scratched the surface of Elden Ring? No, no, we haven't. Nor have I, because and I nearly beat it twice. Nearly beat it twice by myself. You're again, you're my mix of second and third playthrough. But yeah, yeah it it is. Yeah, I haven't. I'm like I've not delved in Jack. Because of how long it is. I want to, but... Uh, I'll get overburnt out. And sometimes I feel like I don't even... I didn't even dent Monster Hunter World, either. The only Monster World that I, I got into lean into was doing the little... side stuff, getting those rare specimen on the maps. Yeah. Break a trophy. Because I never did all the DLC and I never really focused trying to make all other weapon types either. I mean, I, don't I just to, talked but... to uh, making my long swords. Yeah. I got through the base story of all the DLC. I just have yet to beat the, uh, the end game stuff of it. Yeah, I've beaten the story, but I need to beat the Iceborne's DLC story. Everything else, though, I... that and like. A lot. The only thing that's really left, though, is like you know the super missions and such. But other than that, I've pretty much completed almost everything. Base yeah. game wise, because I need. I was having trouble with the hammer, so I had to switch over to something with the arch tempered monsters. Now I'm fine, and I'm kicking their ass. Now I, I just talk with my long sword. I just love how like with certain missions, I like, I struggled a little bit. I know like what is it against Diablo. Because, yeah. like, I think you have to, like, smash his head to, like, break his horns break to his get horns. the, uh, yeah. to, uh, get the pieces, like, to make his armor, weapons, and shit. 
I was stubborn. I stuck with the long sword, and I just used my long sword and smashed his head with it. Like fuck it. If yeah. there's a will, there is a way. Well, I want. I needed teeth parts, and I couldn't. I was having a hard time getting them with a hammer. <laughs> Not from him. The vault. The poison dragon. Asshole. He's easy, but I just couldn't hit his mouth enough. <laughs> I mean, you're. You also have more experience with Mothra in general than I do. Not specifically world, but also with a katana, but also, like, I still, this is, like, my first real full ray, so I, I'm still trying to find what I really like in that, but I really love the switch axe. It gives me extra reach. The hammer was fun, though. Everybody has their own weapon, and, like, yep. they like using, there's not no one weapon beats all. I know, yeah. I just, I just mainly stick to the, uh, the longsword, because playing Monster Hunter, was it back in the PS2 days? I fall in love with the uh, the fucking the great sword. Yeah. And the great sword is is is, is a double edged weapon. You know, it's powerful, but the drawback. But it's slow. Back, as but fuck. It, yeah. And you know, it's cool that you could block with it, but you know, when you do that, you're sacrificing sharpness. It's, it's not Dark Souls great sword. I'm sorry. Like, Monster no, Hunter, no, no, no. Monster Hunter has similar ish combat. At least World does. But great yeah. sword's hard for me to use in that game. And I and I am all great sword, dude. Oh Jesus, no! I would if I could. I would. I tried. Ah, uh, no. And then once they introduced the uh, the, the long sword, it was just meant to be. Yeah. It's, it's just kind of it's just kind of how like I was telling Izzy when like when Rampart came out, and I saw her passion for like machine guns. It was it was just it was meant to be, and, and it's like you know oh I can still have some of the power of a long sword, but better reach and and a good speed. And I love like I abuse the, the long sword. One advantage it has, I like it the most. Is that depending on the, yeah, the longsword has the best transfer elemental damage on all the weapons. And yeah. then I love using the, uh, have, bro, have you used the long the longsword before? I have, but not enough. You know, you notice how like when you're attacking with it, a little meter, like little sword meter, fills yeah, up the, below your health stamina. Yeah, your combo thing. I abuse that because fucking when you increase it, it boosts your. Uh, your your attack with it. Yeah, it's considerable. So, yeah. So you ever get it to red and keep it at red? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love. That's one thing about the those kind of things. I love the roar or whatever the thing that boosts you. I love that. Yeah, but I'm not great with the katana. I miss too damn much. That's my problem with the great sword in that game. As I missed a lot. I needed something fast. Oh, oh, I am fully aware of that shit. Cause fucking. In the very beginning of fucking using the other uh, great sword, I had missed so many times where I fucking I just like wanted to just give up and use the other weapons. Yeah. But it, it's just a whole thing of just like being patient. And, oh, I've grown uh, and, for that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and just being like knowing when to attack. See, that's the thing. Dark Souls has taught me that, but Monster Hunter's on a whole other level, and that's just world. World is. By far, got to be the easiest one, but it's fun. It is, it is, it is. But it's amazing because, like, World was meant to introduce a whole new generation of people in the Monster Hunter, and yeah. so they lowered the difficulty. Granted, they added some harder stuff, but the long one is not that difficult because, like, you have a harder time playing Monster Hunter and the 3DS uh, PSP yeah, doing their I, IP playing, compared to World End Game. Playing the what is it, the Ultimate Collection on the Switch? Fuck, that game was kicking my ass. But then again, I never played... The only other Monster Hunter I played is the PSP one, and I only put a handful of hours into that. Because, again, my patience, I didn't really have a lot of as much as I do now. I, mean, I played a lot more Dark Souls, and that put, gave me a lot more patience to... Oh, man. Put the I, went ham on, <laughs> I went ham on the PSP one. I, I, I went so hard, and I, was able, I, I pretty much was rocking the uh, best endgame armor and weapons. Yeah. Bro, uh, the, I can't remember his name. It started with an F. It was a, he was a giant ass like eight chin ice dragon with a big ass oversized chin. Yeah. Pain he has to kill, but I was able to get it done. Cause I I, I want to say I pretty much got all the way to G rank in the in the Monster Hunter Endgame. I, I, like I'm proud of it. Oh, but God, the hours the hours and pitching it took to get there. <laughs> Tea with the love. Yeah, I feel it. The amount of hours of bitching at Monster Hunter World. 
I breeze. I I kind of breeze through worlds, and it was fun because for the most part, I was stuck doing it solo. And so many guys at the college were giving me shit for like doing it solo and I like oh, we do this, do that. And I was like, motherfuckers. I was playing Monster Hunter before you guys even were old enough to fucking jerk off. Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. A good portion of my world was solo. I mean, I played also, I played the entire thing with Zero as well, but I also did mine solo. I mean, yes, world, it's still really my first foray into Monster Hunter. Nothing wrong with that. It's not an MMO, guys. It acts like a mini one, but it's not one. World is the closest you're getting to a Monster Hunter MMO until they make one. You, oh yeah, like really? I I feel like that's yeah, people are just because they can't handle it themselves, so they want to bitch at someone who does. That's why I hate about people who play games that are like heavy into co-op, and it's just like let someone enjoy a game solo. Yep. Even I play PSO Blue Burst solo. I want to say for the longest time, I, kind of like with Borderlands, I used to play a lot of Monster Hunter. Mm -hmm. Didn't have any many options, and I felt kind of proud because like back when I was still dating Rosie, and she was like, "Yeah, yeah, I was still dating her when I hacked the PSP and I downloaded the, uh, the Japan only Monster Hunter that came out over there, and she was playing it. And uh, what's him? Uh, Bra you know that monster we face in Worlds towards the beginning? It's it's kind of like a wire." He's an intro monster, the one that rolls around in the mud and throws the mud at you, and he has like the uh, kind of like the hammerhead kind of head. Yeah, I don't know his name, but yeah. Rosie was struggling against that guy on the PSP, and and I felt I felt like a badass because I think she was rocking. She was using the uh, twin blades. Mm -hmm. So I uh, I I made myself a basic as a uh, bone cartana, and I took it down. <laughs> nice. Chocolate chips on Elden Dong. Yeah, I just yeah, I quickly saw my friend list. So he's playing all the ring. We need to join him sometime on stream. Send love to stupid, nasty everybody. Chocolate chip is live with Elden Ring. She's got so much makeup on her face. She looks like a clown. She looks just like that woman. Oh my god. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> what? I'm just watching a quick skit since they, they all cook in the game. Mm -hmm. And the the main, the main girl's probably the, the worst cook. She made pancakes for everybody. She actually did a good job. But she made each pancake you need for, for every character. Mm. And uh, the main character you play as, it's like... There's not going to ruin the story, but in the very beginning, he has no feeling, no sense, no taste, no nothing. So he's, he's able to... He got him so used to be able to handle, like, heavy-ass spices. And like really spicy things to get some kind of flavor. And he's enjoying his pancakes, and our character's like, let me try yours. And he was not expecting the amount of spiciness of the guy's pancakes.
And also, I know my dog is old, but I think he's going blind. Damn. Because I noticed that whenever he goes somewhere to move, he's always bumping into stuff. I'm also trying to get all these characters, uh, you know how like in, in the most Tales games, the like, characters have like titles they get? Yeah. And in this one, hopefully you don't mind me talking about this, it, they get like a skill tree linked to their titles. Mm. And it pretty much each skill, every title has uh, four extra skills you could unlock with skill points to get from combat. Nice. And if you uh, fully like unlock all, all of it in one in one title, yeah, apart from getting the title, it gives you like little bonuses. Like for the one I'm looking at right now, it gives you elemental defense plus thirty. And there's a trophy where I have to like uh, unlock four hundred skills. Mm. So I'm trying to get everybody's uh, titles unlocked. Like the main character looks like I'm missing three, and like I'm missing one with the girl. And I am missing two with the other one. I am missing one with that one. There's also with the uh, the DLC outfits that you get in this game. Uh, some of the uh, DLC outfits give you an extra title, but they don't come for the trophy. It's like base game. Uh. more skits ah, this game has so much contact it's well worth the money <laughs> I 
No, that is bullshit. She has the same thing you have. What was the shit called, Brett? Where, uh, your high, uh, some sort of M? Metabolism. Yeah. You look like a bunch of kids got unlocked after, uh, watching them cooking, uh, a cooking thing. Oh, so, uh, Brad, today, are you able to eat regular food? Yeah. That only lasted for four hours. Oh, okay. So, what you watch on today? Nothing. I just had a bowl of stroganoff, but no nothing. It looks like those are all the, uh, skits. I have a stream up when I'm at work. Weather is rough. So I have to pace. Have a great day. Take care, Dr. K. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a good, good work day, my friend. Stay safe out there, man.
I got a trophy. Almost a trophy I got. Forge a strong bomb machine on turn the person to make me something more. Oh, okay. Save, save my game. And how's the grinding coming along? All right. Hey, Mary. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Doing well. Hope your holidays... My holidays were fantastic. I hope yours were fantastic.
Well, they just were awesome. That's good. I'm glad. I hope you've been well. I hope your streams have been well. I appreciate you. Have a great weekend. You as well. Thank you for joining in. It's been a bit. It's good to see you. <laughs> Six, I got this. Let's go, bitches. You cannot beat me and my small army of waifus. I have the power of anime and weebus on my side. I'm not gay! Quit hitting me with your big stick! I thought I just realized these fuckers both have uh, boss health bars and not regular health bars. One down, one more to go. And I just realized, shit, I'm on one HP. Crap, 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 crap. Don't hit me, don't hit me.
Did it. Oh, you're working on Hop It? Mm-hmm. The one thing that surprised me in Pokemon Go, that useless motherfucker actually got a community day. Mm. Uh-huh. There's even no Hop It's a useless Pokemon to use in general. Yep. Another skip.
this way. Time to make myself one more talk. One more skip. Trip with the controller. R1, R1. Are you doing your leaf four right now? Yeah. Mm. 
Do we still have to do? Excuse me. Oh. Bless you. Thank you. Oh. But yeah, we still have to be. Singing. Oh, sure. No matter, no matter, no more. Oh, sure, you got it bad. You can have it all bad. I, was good. I can't believe I forgot about Usher's song except for that one song. Yeah, I think it's called. Yeah, 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 with Lil John and Little Chris. Yeah. I adore you. My people you know. He also did. I. He also had Lovers and Friends with them as well. I love that song as well. It's like I am way behind some of the uh so we used to listen to from back in high school days because like recently from the library. <sighs> yeah. I checked out a CD for uh, Mike Jones, remember him? Oh god, he's awful. And a fucking what, I think Little Flip. <laughs> Little Flip was alright. And I and uh you know that one uh album that hold up. Let me go on my phone real quickly. Uh, it's it's a it's an album Little Wayne made back in our high school days, but he he re-released it and made it better. Mm. Uh, let me go to my music player. I know you never really like Lil Wayne, but he's got some good music. He's better than a lot of <clears throat> garbage rappers, and he's been out for a while. I hate modern rap. I mean, he's far from it. Anyway, I do not enjoy anything that comes to modern rap. The oh, only no, modern no, rap no. I enjoy is whatever the artists that we listen to back in the day yes. I'll come out with. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm glad Lil Wayne is far from modern rap because he's been out for a while. But yeah, no, modern rap is atrocious, dude. Like a guy I worked with was like 19. And I was listening to his shit and I couldn't hear a damn word. Alright, uh, let's see, uh, Little Wayne, uh... Yeah. Little Wayne's got some amazing music. But then again, I've been more into rap, more into certain parts of rap that you probably aren't. Oh yeah, you're but you're more into that. So I was more of the. Uh, oh, don't get me rock. wrong. Yeah, no, I like all genre of music. Don't get me wrong. You guys got me more into it, but I've always I just be honest. It's just I was never really into that much music, to be honest. And then I hit high school, and that's when I really started to somewhat listen to music. But of I'm course, I'm assuming the uh, the album I'm talking about is called I Am Music. Uh, I I don't know that album. Yeah. It's pretty sure it's so much like a release of a bunch of older songs, like right off the back. So I have it all on the playlist. A, a song called A Millie, 2008 Remaster, Bedrock, Lum Blowing, Drop the World, Fireman, Gold DJ, How to Love, Can't Nobody, Lollipop, 
2008 Remaster, Mirror, Mona Lisa, Mr. Carter, Miss Officer, no worries, write about it, she will, uproar, and six foot, seven foot. Yeah, those are some good songs, yeah. And that's the whole thing, it's like, when it comes, the one thing I don't like about my, because like, for the longest time, I just use, uh, what is it, um, uh, Google Play? Or some shit like that, or like Google Sound or, or Google Music. Yeah. I forget what it was called. It was like an app I could download for uh, through Google and then uh, listen to the music I had saved up on my phone. But they disabled it because you know I think Google's part of YouTube now. And now uh, you had to do like what is it? You download YouTube Music. I'm like I'm good on that. Uh, yeah. I downloaded this uh this free uh music app I can use. Uh, it lets me uh, pretty much listen to my music off my phone. Mm -hmm. But the one thing I hate, though, when it comes to certain artists, is it, it divides it. If a song has, a, like I say, you know, like Lil Wayne features somebody, that song will be different from the old the Lil Wayne songs that are by themselves. So what I do is I put all the songs in one playlist and listen to it straight through. Yeah, that's what I did with his and every other artist. Whenever I make a playlist, I always mix match albums. And if even if a song that I don't know the actual artist of, and it features a a person I like, I'll put that in their playlist. But no, that sounds like a good playlist for a lot of that. But no, modern rap is atrocious. But I don't really listen to a lot of music. A lot of my music is older. My, gener sure. my generation and some from the 70s and 80s. Bro, it looks like, uh, I don't know if you ever went, went to it. St. Odittles, Odittles School in Berwyn is closing. Wait, what's closing? St. Odittles, the, it's a Catholic oh, school. Oh, St. Odillo. Yeah, it's closing for winter or permanent? Permanently at the end of the school year. Wait, wow. Why? Is, is that the school that's right next to St. Leonard's? I don't remember if it was next to St. Leonard's, but St. Odillo's is close to us. Also. I don't remember ex exact location. But damn, that's crazy. Because we had several, several church, like, schools. Three, in fact. St. Joe's, St. Dillo's, and St. Leonard. But that sucks. Yeah, but yeah, it's the one in St. Leonard's. Yeah. Because I used to go to St. Leonard's for CCD. And then I went to the Emmanuel Bible Church for the shit that me and Anthony and Alicia and everyone used to do for. Learned about God and played games and played re and like sports and whatnot. Kind of like Boy Scouts, but with God. <laughs> Minus the camping. And the raping. Ugh. Let me double check where St. Odittles is at. <laughs> that's crazy that that's closing. Oh no, never mind, never mind. This is a, this, this is a different place. Mm. This is more towards, uh, where is this located? Okay, okay. No, so St. Leonard's is okay. St. Leonard's is still going to be open. They think, didn't you go to preschool or kindergarten in St. Leonard's, Brett? Uh, I know I went to CCD there. I'm not sure if I went to... If I might have? I know I also went to Pershing. And then I went to Emerson. So I started at... I believe I started at Emerson and then I went to Purdy, or it could have been the other way around. Yeah, because I fucking I was I was curious because in the article was the uh, they're saying some Archduke mentioned that St. Leonard's is going to remain open, 
So I was curious, I'm like, so it's not the same area, so I quickly went to on Google and went on maps. And it looks like St. Diddles is going, is closer towards where Stormac is. Yeah, it's all close by, but different spots. Yeah. So I know pretty much where I am and where you used to be in order to get to St. Uh, St. Diddles. I have to walk towards the, uh... Where the Bourbon Health Center is, going towards City Hall, and keep walking past how I walk to school. Where's Sormac, and then I'll hit the, uh, the school. Mm. Yeah. Take on this final little guy. But just to be safe, always safe. Nine, alright, you're doable. Oh, it looks like an action nest. He, this fucker hits hard. No, I'm dead. Revive me. I am back, bitches. How far down? Three more to go. Oh, if one can cut off his tail, that would be awesome. Tail. I swear, guys, every time I see any kind of creature or enemy that has a tail, like, oh, I wish I could cut it. This ain't Monster Hunter Dark Souls. I'm oh. literally fighting, like, a T-Rex looking thing that looks like an egg genus from Monster Hunter Worlds. Nice. And I wish Dark Souls had kept tail cuts. And from software games. Tail cut weapons. Oh, no, 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 killed me again. God damn it. Res me. Kill him again. Kill him again. On the bright side, my party's still alive. So I'm just waiting for somebody to res me. There we go. Do it.
All right, two health bars down, two more to go. No. This is, you know, this fight's a little bit annoying because, like, fuck, I'm doing a side quest and there's an uh, endgame area, there's a whole bunch of scientists. And one after the other, they uh, are releasing. Uh, so-called experiments in the wild and it's your job to pretty much test out how strong they are and just pretty much kill them mm. and the last one's annoying because he has all the elements oh motherfucker coming for the third time shit I died more times than Goku Somebody res me! You have. Thank you. You have. Finally, someone doesn't make a joke on Honey Tommy's. Goku. Rillin has died. Or Goku has died. Or Now you have died more than that. So I want to say, Goku has died more than Krillin, right? No. Goku's died twice. How many times has Krillin died? I just, I just remember him dying in Dragon Ball, and that's Piccolo, it. Oh. No, Piccolo and Frieza and Boo. So that's three. Yep. I'm tied with Krillin right now. Because Goku's died against... Um, well, I'm going to count the other... Go, the future version, but... Because he's, he's died against Piccolo and Raditz, and he's died against Cell, and that's it. But Goku holds the longest death held by a mainline that is in Universe 7. By that I mean, like, main character, because he's de he's been dead for seven years. As for main character. <laughs> that puts Vegeta a much considerable age gap above him now. Same with his wife. I thought it was canon there, uh, of the get that Vegeta's way older than Goku. Uh, he's not way older. He's a bit older, yes. He's not way. I want to say he was probably close to preteen when Goku was a baby. It's a bit older, you give, it, give it that. But Vegeta now has a seven more of a gap on him now. No, yeah. Man, he, he's way he, older. That's he's, why you're already pretty balding. It, well, that's genetics also. But, yeah, no, Vegeta has got some age on him, but it's not as extravagant. But now it is, because he's got tw the whatever age he was as a kid, plus the seven year now, That since Goku died against Bo uh, during the Cell games. <laughs> Hell, even his own wife has a bit of an age gap on him, and they're the same age. All right. Right, done. <laughs> but, no, it's funny, because everyone's like, Krillin... Everyone talks about how much Krillin dies, and it's just like, he only died three times. I mean, I get it. It's funny, because he's weak. Yeah. But, honestly, they should be making fun of Yamcha for the fact that he had more L's than anybody in this series. He died to a freaking Cyberman, who he beat. And I get it, Krillin gets careless, and he's scared. But dude could have killed Frieza. Oh, the... the, the Destructo disc, disc. Okay. yes. He did the right moves, he just screamed it. He blinded him, and ran. I mean, his initial hit, when he cut his tail off, dude, he did it perfect. He didn't say a damn thing. It's always kind of frustrating at times when, like, certain series, they have mm. something really OP, but don't really use it. Because mm. I know, like, a good example, I love Ronin Kenshin. And, like, uh, have you read or seen the anime Ronin Kenshin, Brett? Yeah, I've read your comic and watched it. You remember the whole, uh, uh arc when they were in Kenzo and he's fighting the, uh, I can't remember his name, but the guy that looks like a mummy? Eh, uh, yes. He sends you from he sends his minions after the uh, the end they're staying at and he has his like mutated giant who's like way too big. 
And fucking, they bring back Kenshin's Masters. Kenshin's Masters is extremely OP. Because unlike Ronin and Kenshin, the Masters doesn't have the vow to not to kill. So he's able to use what I think was called the Hinchin Meal to full potential. And he's extremely fucking OP. And the only time they bring him on to use him was in the fight against that one giant. And even the giant stood no chance against the Master. <laughs> Yeah, that manga was good. And he has one of the crazy, coolest deaths. Or should I say hottest? <laughs> hey, it's kind of fucked up, but he pretty much... And in a sense, defeated himself, his blood got too hot. Yeah. Yeah. Burnt himself alive because his body can't regulate and sweat no longer. He was a badass villain. I liked him. Uh, he's my favorite one. Then he was they, a lot. Uh, he was, I said he's... Then there's the... the what was it? The brother of his lover? Oh yeah, the brother-in-law, the uh, the brother of his first wife. Yeah, the one that blinded his senses or whatever. It, great arc. I don't like him though. No, no, I feel you. I wasn't making fun of him either. But no, my favorite arc and my favorite villain is definitely Mummy Boy. I forgot his name too. It's been a long time, and I don't know the series as much as you. Because all I remember from him was that he pretty much took over as being a battle side for the gov the government when he can't just step down. Yeah. I don't remember too much of the lies. I also read a bit of Claymore from you. Oh, uh, God, Claymore was good, but sadly, it, it, it never finished. I, I read as much, I, I read what I could online as well, and yeah, that's sad. That was a really good series. It was, I loved the world, the direction it was going. But like, no, it's one of those, it's one of those mangas that never continues. Like, no. Like, cause I thought it was doing good. Cause I remember they released an anime. And I see some of the anime. The anime wasn't bad. Its art was fantastic. I, at least I think so. Cause I, mean, I love it's, how it's... like um I can't remember the name of the character. Was her name Claire? The uh the main one. From. From Claymore. Claymore? And, uh... Like, the one that you follow through the story, the one had, like, the little boy following her around. I believe so. I could be wrong. Because I love how, like, when it came to her, how like, she was considered, like, one of the weakest Claymores. But then she took, like, the, the what? I'm trying to remember. She, I think she took the flesh of the strongest of the Claymores in her body. So she wasn't, like, a, a full war and half demon. She was, like, quarters of a demon. But then she took, like, the flash of other stronger claymores to make herself stronger. Because I remember, like, I think the, the original second strongest, she took her arm to learn that one move. She's able, like, to, like, slash really fast. Yeah. I, I thought that shit was kind of clever. And how like, she was able to, like, somewhat awaken, but go back into being, like, regular. Yeah. Alright, that's one side quest done. I can't do the other one because I'm mean, way too low level. Mm -hmm. The pain of not finding a good place to grind that.
Hey, we were able to finish the Pokedex. Nah, uh, gold? Not quite. I'm almost there. I got a little under 30 left. How are you doing, Phlegmatic? Cuckoo. 